everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, we have jump systems, we're back at Priori now, it's a four and a half skull planet, and we've got a few missions here I'd like to do. Uh, before I show you the mechs, I'm just going to show you the missions. So, uh, we're going to do territorial, no, uh, hard contact first. Um, is it hard contact or flushing them out? Wait, one of these was, yeah, hard contact, sorry. It's in the Badlands, we're going to be a little warm, but that's fine. Two Lances of Government mechs um, is assaulting uh, whatever. Uh, we got to dislodge them. That's what we're going to do today. I want to try out uh, our new, uh, not the new Lance, but some of the uh, new loadouts on the mechs. So we're going to do that one today. Let's have a look uh, really quickly at the barracks, or sorry, the uh, mech bay. Um, some things have changed. So the Dire Wolf B has now gained the, um, where are you here? Uh, we got a double range finder in here and I moved the gunnery support A and the fire control system predator off of the Orion. The Orion now has uh, fire, the fire control system headshot. So this is gonna be our uh, headshot attempt mech um, for now. Nothing else changed on this guy. Uh, Archer still the same. Night Gear Prime. Um, so what we ended up doing, oh wait, no, he stays the same. Not the Prime. Uh, wait, they're both Primes. Oh right, this guy, sorry. So the Arrow Mech, um, let's have a quick look. I did drop in the uh, Incendiary Arrow Ammo. We got three tons, tons of it in there. In order to do that, I had to pull out the two medium lasers that we had. But let's face it, this guy is not a direct fire support mech in any way. Uh, and if he needs to go to direct fire support, well, we got tons of arrow ammo here. So we've got, what, uh, three, eight tons of arrow ammo. Um, so that's like, what, uh, uh, 20 turns? Almost 20 turns of firing each? Yeah. So this thing can go to the end of the battle, most likely, uh, either dropping regular arrow or infernal ammo down on people. 15 rounds of infernal, 25 rounds of regular. Still has the AMS, but AMS, but everything else stayed the same. A pair of jump jets, so if we need to maneuver and get up on hills and stuff, we can, or get out behind like uh, buildings and stuff, we can do that. So this guy's not going to be in direct direct line of sight of the enemy at all, pretty much. Um, and every, then everything else stayed the same. Now, the uh, timber wolves are being loaded out currently, as is the Atlas. So um, I'm sure you're interested to know how we, I loaded these guys out. I kind of went with what I avail what I had available. Um, I didn't, as you notice, I didn't strip the PPCs and stuff off of this guy. He's loaded out pretty well, this Orion. So I decided to leave him. Uh, the Atlas is loaded out a little differently. Um, I'll probably wait till next episode to show you because these guys are going to get involved, I think, in the next episode um, with the next uh, mission, which is going to be Jade Falcon against um, uh, Clan Wolf at a five skull mission. So I think the Atlas and the two Timberwolves most likely are going to be joining in that fight. So we'll show you those guys when we get um, uh, them back for next episode. Uh, they're not really anything groundbreaking. Um, unfortunately, the Timberwolves, once again, you're, you're limited with weight because the 375 core, right? They're fast, um, but you can't pack a lot in them, unfortunately. So, and the Atlas... I think the Atlas has got a pretty solid loadout. I want to change a couple things in it, but right now I think it's a pretty solid loadout. Uh, it's definitely hot, heavy firepower for sure. Uh, relatively heat efficient and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's that. So let's go into the battle today. Command Center. Command. How you doing, Darius? All right, let's do this. Going to go full salvage. You notice our Seabill funds are good. Um... We've got the Ryakin, one of the archers. The archers that the archer that got cored, uh, I just put him in storage. I, I wasn't going to put another XL engine in him. I wasn't going to do anything. Um, it was just going to cost way too much. I was like, forget it. There's no way. Uh, which one is this guy? You are the AMS Mac. Now, do we want to have? I think we're going to go this route. So let's go Hellion. Where are you here? Hellion, Gundal, Mastodon, and Workhorse. Now, do I want to keep Workhorse? Yeah, probably here. Um, or do we want to give that to Duck? Ah, 
good question because you can only really target one guy at a time well even though it doesn't say here workhorse does have multi-target all right sorry um warlord um let's go this route we're going to give the uh arrow mech to duck yeah let's do that all right let's deploy and hopefully we don't get pasted All right, this looks uh, interesting. We've got support. Looks like long-range fire support, too. Okay. Wow, we've got three lances up here. Ah, oh, this is an interesting map, because usually reinforcements come from this side. What do we got on our side? A carrier. LRM Thunders. A Puma. He's probably going to be closing, maybe. Long Tom. Yep. That's my guy. Another carrier with Swarm. Uh, is it just the four? Uh, okay. All right, let's start off with standard ammo. I know you're there. Engaging. Reporting. Major armor loss. Commander. Okay, let's get your AMS on hardcore. Got 1600 AMS rounds. Let's move into here. Okay, now I'm going to switch these over now to Hydra. We've only got three turns of firing, but I want to remember that I've got them there. All right, Hellion. Yeah. Walk up and brace, please. I got this nasty feeling that we're going to have guys coming from this side. Let's get around down here. Stay down below the hill here so they can't see you directly. Alright, we got massive direct fire potential from here. Enemy detected. Looked like I took damage there for a second. I think it was them though. Charger, Orion, LRM Carrier Mark II, and a Marauder. They haven't moved yet. Uh, I know this is the worst chance to hit. Leave this guy off. Uh, but if we can kill this thing, that would be good. Alright, we got a couple hits and we got a target acquisition. Beautiful. Yeah, you can get those PPCs up here, please. This heat will be interesting. Wow, really? Well, if you get lucky and clip him. Hit that guy. No, shoot the carrier. I think that's a minefield. Or is that the swarm? No, that was the minefield guy. How might I help? Goofy man. Just being here is a help. Yes, Commander. You know? Everybody loves you. Just being here is a big help. Let's leave that off for now. Firing on yes, this guy. Ah, I got an AMS. Alright. Well, the carrier would be a fool not to have an AMS. Okay, this was the Orion. So we do have the other Orion sitting there. I don't. Uh, I'm hesitant to put it in storage because I know if I put it in storage, I'm going to sell it. 
because it's already got an XL engine built into it. Yeah, you got a chance to fire. Light damage. Holding firm. Oh, another one back there too. Um, so if I put it in storage, there's no way I'm putting an XL engine back in that thing because of the cost. So it'll be for sale. Um, the Ryakin, I think, is already a candidate for, for sale. Uh, it's worth 1.5 million. We've got three Grand Summoners in there at about 1.5 each. The Archer is 850,000 that we have, the Pirate Archer that's in storage now. So we do, I mean, I could sell... I could sell everything and put the Clan XL engine into the Atlas. That's a thought. That was one of my thoughts. Um, but I don't know yet. We're going to see. We definitely need to step up and wait if we're going to be taking five skull missions against clans with the potential of facing 20 clan mechs. We definitely have to have heavier mechs, I think. The bulk of our guys are still in the uh, heavy category. I mean, they're on the upper end of heavy, but that's still uh, not going to be good. So if we can get one good assault lance... I mean, we have not a bad, it's not bad now. I mean, two dashies, uh, Atlas and the uh, the Zeus are not bad, but it's not all one lance, right? It's going to be two assaults in one lance, two assaults in another. And then we still need our support mechs. I mean, we still need the uh, advanced AMS mech, um, the arrow mech. So there's two right there. And then we have two flexibles. So whether they're going to be uh, like archer mechs or ATM mechs, or even more direct fire mechs, I don't know yet. I think the indirect fire is becoming um, definitely more important. I mean, we still have the thumper, we still have the broadside. Um, I was planning on, I tried to work that into a couple of the mech builds, into the Atlas and stuff, but it just didn't work out. I just don't think we have the right ammo for it yet. Considering that each each ton of ammo is only giving us four four turns of firing. It's kind of lousy that way, so you you know, we need at least four tons of ammo. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. So the Charger, I don't think, is going to get close. He's going to get shredded going through the water. The Marauder, we should be able to take out. I think we're going to rotate fire, kill him first, and then we... Then it's just the guys up here that we got to worry about. Yes, Commander. All right, Lilu Dallas, let's sprint up here. Can't get in the trees, eh? Well, that's fine. Come on up here. No eyes on, huh? That guy's behind a hill. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm hearing guys on the left. I'm yep. Up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. You notice we're not getting shot in the ass right now? Atlas, okay. Commander. It's because we got experienced pilots on the way are here now. That's why. Uh, no, it's got to be this guy. Now somebody told me that Inferno ammo do, does really well against vehicles, so I'm going to drop an Inferno and I'm going to drop a uh, regular round. Okay, thank you. Whoever it was that told me that, thank you very much. Seemed like it was good damage. The guy disappeared, but oh, thumper. Warning. Armor low. Commander, they're banging through my armor. Stay up and tag me good. Hey, Commander, I'm No, you just huh? just stay quiet, please. Just everybody stay quiet. Don't want to hear any complaints. Madcap Mark II. Well, hello there. That's the charger. He's moving pretty quick, eh? Shrilton, whatever the hell that guy is. No idea what he does. 
Marauder. Another carrier. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, that carrier's gone. Hopefully we hit this guy. No. Alright, nice try. Good to go. Oh yeah. It's not going to be, um, Hydra. Hail Hydra. Sorry, I, I, did I say that out loud? I didn't mean to say that out loud. Uh, let's fire on this guy. That should probably kill this guy. Yep. That's a kill. Thou shalt have no more fire support. Let's get behind their vehicle. <laughs> oh, wait. Here's another one. Puma. Is it three carriers back here? Looks like three carriers. You're welcome. All right, what do we got to hit here? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm so glad I put that back in. Oh, man, look at that. Even the Mad Cat 2 at that range. Four ER larges and a Parabellar M15s, man. I want that guy. Um, more damage against the Orion, though. If we don't do it this way, people are just going to scream at me. Come on. Not the Orion? Not the Marauder. There we go. Want to CT this guy or leg him? Let's torso him instead. Engaging target. Oh. Oh. Enemy mech. Yeah. This guy without the headshot is so much better. It's strange to say that out loud, but it's so true. It's so true. Just being able to pinpoint anything like, forget the head. You don't have to worry about the head so much, but being able to pinpoint them like that at that range for that percentage chance to hit, that's just crazy. Now, he didn't move very much, so, I mean... That guy's going to shoot again. Oh, good. Well, I tried to save you. Can't say I didn't try to save you. That was an ATM, it looks like. Is this guy the ATM? Probably. Waiting for orders. Get up here to the firing line, please. And um, let's try and claim this guy if we can. Okay, one hit. Not enough to kill, though. Or was it? Nope. Screw you and your PPCs. Let's 
suck at shooting too. All right, they're three down, so they got what? One, two, three. Four. Oh, come on! You're overheating. I know you're overheating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got two guys that we can't see. What's up, boss? You know what's up. Make my day. Make my day. Heading out. Boom! How does 70 LRMs in your ass make your day? That target is gone. Oh, I was hoping for the gone. Oh well. That target is gone. All right, so we got Dallas left. Um, let's get her up. Um, do we take out the Orion? Or we, I'm thinking about shooting that shrill trillion. No, he hasn't gone yet. He is now. Yeah, well, let's shoot that trillion. <laughs> Yeah, he's got arrows, so let's go after that guy. Winston. Stop. Please stop. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> the complaining is endless, guys. There's another carrier back there. Okay. They're setting me off. They do that on purpose. You know that, right? They just, they, they just set me off. They tweak me out like that. Don't shoot the Marauder. Don't shoot the Marauder. Don't do it. Okay. Alright, that's a minefield. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy about that. Hey, you're supposed to block the damage. Shoot the Shrilton. No. No, that's a if that's a minefield, that's good. He's not moving anywhere, so... Is that a knockout? No. Nope. Yeah, well. Gyro destroyed. Knocked down. Okay. Alright. I think we're going to shoot the Shrilton with uh, Dallas. See if we can kill this guy. I don't want these guys shooting arrows at me. I think I could hand the, handle the LRMs just fine. I mean, they're going uh, to... Is that two atlases? Like LRMs are just fine. See, we can we can shred most of them, but arrows we can't even shoot at with the AMSs. So, there's nothing we can do about those. All right, you sensor lock away. Why is my camera moved? Oh, there we go. Is that two atlases over here? No, that's not an atlas. That looked like an exterminator. I don't know what the hell you're shooting at, but you sure as hell missed. Exterminator? Grand Summoner, okay. Yes, Still got some clan mechs. Uh, let's fire a maneuver. So we can hit this guy. What's our chances? 64. I mean... It's not enough to kill, I don't think. Charge is a pretty damn good chance to hit. Although he's fortified, that guy would be a kill. Mad Cat, maybe. You know what? punk ass. How about you enjoy this? Right. Shoot at my guys. Alright, back your ass up. Location confirmed. Alright. Phase one. Who's going on phase one? Oh, the Orion's got to get up. Oh, he actually was able to stand up and and uh, not fall back down again with a gyro without no gyro. Without no gyro. Commander. Uh, what do you think, buddy? Um, TBM LRM carrier, twenty percent. Um, twenty-eight, eighty-two on the Marauder. That could be a kill. Orion is 82. He's got nothing left though really on him. 60. 23 on the Thumper. Who's going to fire on us this term? Shilton Prime. Now let's get rid of the Marauder. Wow, oh, we can't. No, we can't. We got to go after these guys. 
because I don't have anybody else that's indirect. And this guy's just going to hide his ass back here. 23. That's a lot of armor, though. We might be able to kill this guy. Let's just drop some missiles on his ass. No. Just back up over here. Waiting for order. All right. Uh, we can't multi-target, unfortunately. Location confirmed. Move over here. Gonna switch back to both. Oh, let's leave it where we are. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I think they take heat damage from being in there anyway. Yeah, somebody does. Alright, let's... Um, I better do this. I know damn well they're gonna try and overheat me. Let's just shred this guy a bit. Let's kill him. Beautiful. Two arrows out of the picture. Mm -hmm. That'll do. You got that right. Alright, back your ass up. Yo, Hellion, back your ass up. Alright, you ATM motherfucker. Uh, you're out of range from uh, those guys, are you? Alright, let's target this guy. Barrage is up. Might as well use it. Um, let's see if we can get a kill on him. I don't think we can get HE on this guy now. Alright, just gonna fire. Yes. Not a kill, but this guy's ro like roasting right now. Receiving you. Unless you're me, this is not a good planet to have an uh, a um, a heat-heavy laser build on. Wow, that was lousy. Hit. Yeah, but you didn't kill him, man. Dude, I know it ain't your forte, but Copy that. just keep them AMSs rolling. Alright, so the guys in front of us are pretty much cri crippled. I should rotate um, Infiltrator onto these guys at range. Yeah, this charger's being an ass. Kill him first. He's going the wrong. Oh no, he's going the right way. He's got to go up this road. Yes, come in. Okay, dude. Uh, you got the headshot. Peeps, right? Yeah, I don't think you're gonna hit this guy though with a headshot. Do we want to finish up that marauder? Probably. Let's go straight to the CT. Got him. Come on. There you go. I'm on the move. I don't know if this charger's in melee range or not. He's pretty damn close though. If he sprints up here, he pro he's probably got one turn. But if he does that, he's going to be Goofy Father's fought Goofy's father, Goofy fodder. So <laughs> he'll go down pretty hard, I think. I'm going to focus on that Mad Cat too. I think maybe with the uh, with Infiltrator, see if we can pull off one of his legs. 
Depends on what the chance to hit is. If it's above 50, we'll go after a leg. If it's not, then we'll probably just finish up the Orion. Or, I mean, depends on what the leg... Well, he's this guy's really close, though. This guy's rack fodder, so we should probably put sick Helion on, onto him next turn. He's a little close for me. Although Dallas could probably shred this guy's face. Let's just move up here. He's in prime heavy Goss range, too. 80%. Um, don't know. Yeah, those guys are really far away. All right, let's just do this. Okay, two hits. Take it. Nice. We penned somewhere, though. Where was it? Hopefully it was a CT hit. And that'll be a quick kill. Soften them up for me. Let him know I'm coming. Oh, that was a leg hit, it looks like. Oh, yeah, he's only got like one point left in the leg. Come on, spray the charger. If you take his... Oh, come on. Take the charger's leg off, then... Uh, he ain't going anywhere. He's just fodder. I think he's only got four medium lasers. Those, those could be medium pulses, but... I got a feeling they're just medium lasers. I think they're just medium lasers. Did he, didn't he shoot already? Thought he shot. Wasn't really paying attention to him. Okay. Hopefully this stupid vehicle at the back there, this guy, moves out. Okay. 57 on this guy. And 99 on this guy. It's just criminal. It's just criminal. Come on. No. Yes. No. Yes. 91% chance out of all this to hit his leg. His leg's coming off. Here it comes. Ah, we got the whole side. Back it up. What, you couldn't walk backwards? Alright. So this side's pretty much crippled. Ow! There's a Hanna Barbera explosion. I'm a lot of armor here. We're all losing armor. Uh-huh. Who was that though? Was that the Grand Summoner or is that Oh, it's a vehicle. Oh they got two vehicles over here, a carrier and something else. Pirate Marsden, that's the Goss rifle version. TBM LRM. Rotary 5. Okay, we got to kill that guy. Come on, people. Let's go. Yeah, we can't go through flames. I'm getting um, overexcited here. Let's do this. Let's do this right. Let's do this right. Yeah. There we go. That was a critical hit. Not going down. Okay. This guy's exposing his side, so he's gonna die. So Gundal. No matter what you do, you're in flames, eh? That's fine. Warlord's up. I'm not going to help all that much, but it will help a little bit. Uh, let's leave the ER larges off. Just go with the peeps. Fire on the Orion. Nicely done. Two solid hits. Probably a CT and a leg, most likely. 
since that's pretty much all he's got left. Oh, he's backing up. Okay. He's good to go. Scared him off. Alright, we need to start working on this guy. AMS is back. Orders. Would you like to respond to that? I think you probably would. Good to go. You're goading me into it. They're goading me into it. Enjoy the heat. Enjoy the heat. That should shut him up for a turn, probably. Oh, we get the camera all screwed up over here. Alright. We should be able to pull the other leg off the Mad Cat. The Orion should go down this turn. Charger, mmm, iffy. I don't know. Yeah, man, we totally neutered their, uh, totally neutered their LRM, like their long-range firepower. This is overkill. There we go. That's not so bad. There we go. Gonna have problems with fire if we move. We already got problems by standing there, but still. Come on, finish him up. Finish him up. There you go. One less mech I gotta shoot at. Okay. We got Dallas left. Uh, we should have Goofy Love too, right? Yeah, 18. There's that frickin' Rack 5. That could have been worse. Yeah, could have been. Reporting. Okay, let's drop some ATMs on this guy. I understand. Yeah, it's getting there. Getting there. Artemis is up. That's up. Please and thank you. Let's get up into here. Acknowledged. Make sure we got the AMS on Goofy down there. So they got what? One, two, six, eight left. Okay. Dallas. I wonder if she can shoot that uh, pirate Marsden. Charger's backing off, so I don't know if we need to go after him this turn. But that Rack 5 could be dangerous if we don't take it out. Maybe she shoots it. If she can see it from her angle, 
shoots it and then jumps down. They still got the Winston and the Carrier back here. Right? Charger and this guy. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Just want to make sure I'm accounting for everybody here. Yeah, you gotta... Oh, the vehicle's not within sight range, really. Ah, uh, you got the missiles. Let's fire at this guy. Alright, one hit. We'll take the 90 damage. He's only got an LRM-20. Okay, goofy. Fire maneuver, please. Let's get on this guy. All right, we'll take all those eights. I think you're plenty far enough away from the charger. He's probably got a range to right about here at full speed through the, that's because of the trees. Looks like he's shooting the AMSs out of his nipples. Sorry, he's sorry. It's just boob shots, boob AMS. Uh, copy. This guy's all yours. Yeah, maybe we don't do that much. How much you got left here? Not a whole lot. He's that's probably more than enough. Yeah. Another one for the kill board. Helps you cool off a little bit too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Standing by. Um. Let's get one inferno on this guy. We get the vehicle. We did. Just brace there for now. I know it's flames in the way, but she's super cool. Let's see if we can get rid of this rack. Okay, three hits, not bad. Well, I mean, it's good, because, like, that's all you can hit with. Alright, hammer this guy. Plenty of LRM hits. Didn't look like his hit points went down that much, though. Move a little closer. I don't know if that's going to help out. Oh, maybe not, because we'll be on lower ground. I wonder if that's going to be an issue. There you go. I finally took our lead, did you? Wish you could uh, set out a, like important targets for the enemy to, to shoot at. Yeah. Okay. That was a hard yeah, I don't complain. We're plenty hot, so we're just going to shoot this guy at range. Yeah, see? Pull these off. Actually, we'll pull these guys off. And just go with the two heavies and hopefully we hit... Wow, he doesn't got much left, does he? There we go. Yeah. 
two hits nice back it up starting to push the heat here now pushing the heat all right let's drop 40 on this guy what would the do the incendiaries do any more though I don't think so the less chance to hit too I got a ton of armor. All right, keep hitting him. Never split fire. There's only a handful of times I think I've I've needed the chance need, like needed the ability to split fire. Every time I try and split fire, it usually ends up with not killing anything. There's only those rare times where the mechs and vehicles are so badly damaged that just blowing on them kills them. And splitting fire is nice, but I don't know. It's very rare that I'll split fire now. Fire maneuver is definitely a bonus. I don't know. I'm wondering if I if going up the tactics line as well, like the minus 50% critical hits, is might be a better way to go too. But we're not losing much. But we haven't been facing enemies that have been sort of stand up, you know, knock down fighting guys. So I'm probably going to keep the difficulty at this level for when we start the next series too, just to see how it plays out in early game. I think we should probably be fine now that we're used to playing at this difficulty. I mean, we'll be playing with, you know, pilots that'll have a hell of a lot harder time to hit, but, excuse me, it might be, uh, might be fun and, you know, more of a challenge, I think. Although this is local government forces. If this was, yeah, if this was like Clan Jade Falcon or Clan Wolf, They'd have four more guys, and they'd all be Omnimax, most likely, and far more deadly. You. All right, you can double Inferno. That's pretty good chances to hit. Let's do it. I copy. That's plenty of heat. Should target anybody. All right, let's do this. This, and then we're going to just learn this guy. Come on, just to drop a little heat. Not a lot of heat, but a little bit. Guy's getting close to dying. Waiting for orders. You know what to do. Right after you get up back up on the hill because you can't see that guy very well. Ah shit, they can see you though from there. That's not the best way to be, is it? Neither is that. God damn it. All right, that's not too bad. Yeah, a little worse, but we had to move. All right, finally, finally penetrated the internal structure. Critical hit, Commander. Thank you. Commander. Let's move. Yes, Commander. 
we're going to move on that uh, Atlas in a minute. I want that guy to have some heat ability. Heat available. Critical hit, Commander. Critical hit. Oh! That's what we needed. Just got the Winston left over there. I think that guy just restarted. Now, who do we want? There's a lot of armor on the front. 93 on the Atlas. Oh, come on. Let's try it. All right, the big one hit. Let's go against the Pirate Marsden. Okay, not bad. Soften him up a little bit. That guy looks like he's in a lot of trouble. Alright. God, it's an offensive push at like 99%. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. Engaging target. See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. Well, I didn't mean to blow him up. I just wanted to leg him, but sure, we'll take that. Pirate crit, pirate rack explosion, pirate dead. Alright, let's clean this up. Go home. Hopefully he's moving into uh, sight. No? Where'd he freaking go? Where'd that Winston go, man? Let's finish this guy up. Uh, let's go with it all. Because F this guy. That's a kill, Commander. Yeah, that Winston's hiding now. Yes, Commander. See if you can get me some eyes on. There he is. I think he's in HE range too. Sure as hell is. And barrage range. Warlord it and give it to him. On wow. My mech is overheating. Good thing you're standing in water. Alright. See if you can clean this guy up. Oh, all four hit. Nice. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. Head down. All right, let's drop some LRMs on this guy. Firing. Nice. There we go, folks. There we go. Let's go home. All right, 157,000. It's going to cost us more than that for repairs, obviously. Uh, let's see what we got here. All that artillery is what it was. But what can you do, right? Uh, one Atlas part, eh? Mad Cat 2. Grand Summoner parts. Orion parts. Don't we have an extra Orion part? Or was I thinking of something else? 
Advanced AMS. Okay, we want that. Um, enhanced LRM twenties are nice, but then their weight is ridiculous. C three master units. Makes enemies easier to spot by three in aura range. Increases ally sensors by two. Acquires targets within 240 meters. Green circle. Huh. 360 core. That would be nice. Fuel cells. Hopefully we get some of those. Plus four heat sink. Clan XL. We've only got one of those left. We've got indirect, enhanced imaging, a lot of good stuff down here. Guardian ECMs 4, we're out of these completely. I had to put together some of the mechs without using Guardian ECMs, which is really not what I want to do. Spawliner, we've still got one. Warfare Suite Mark 2. 5 tons. Sensor lock on all enemies within three That's a UAV. Two turn cooldown. UAV 15 heat. Why would a UAV use 15 heat? Um, we have double loads. We do have double loads of AMS ammo. Uh, Inferno arrow. Guided arrow. What is this? One evasion pipped ignored. One accuracy plus 40 arrow four damage. What really requires an Artemis 4 TTS to be installed, though? That's probably one of the things that's been wrecking us is this thing. I'm going to just drop it there for now. Um, rack 5 ammo, TBM, thumper ammo. We've already got thumper ammo, right? Yeah. For our sawed off thumper. Do we take, ah oh man, I can't remember now if we had an extra Orion part or an extra, I think we had an extra Orion part, did we not? Ah, I can't remember. We take the Mad Cat too. Mmm, tough choice here, guys. Take another Grand Summoner part. Hope, hopefully we have enough pieces and sell it, I guess. Or we just take another Arrow 4, maybe. It's Inner Sphere, though. 15 tons. I don't know. Rotary 5 Pirate. Pair of Thunderbolt 20s. These things get are so in, easily intercepted by AMS though. Uh. Alright, let's go for stuff we need. I know we're going to use these. Besides, we got plenty of time before the end of the month, so I think we're okay. I think the Atlas part's a smart choice. Advanced AMS, having another one of these might be really helpful. Let's go this. All right, we got a Charger, Orion, and Mad Cat part. Nice. ELRM, Thumper Artillery, two 180 cores we can sell. Oh, we got the XL Clan engine. Uh, and more Arrow 4 ammo. Okay, beautiful. So that actually worked out really well. Okay, let's have a look here. Yeah, well, that's actually a lot less than I thought it was going to be. It's not too bad, though. I can't remember how much we made in sea bills, but I, I think it was pretty close to that. So I don't think we lost any sea bills on this. All right. So what I'm going to do is we'll get 
Where's the Atlas? Seven days, eh? Let's bring you up to the top because we're going to need you. We're going to be taking a hard mission next. So, um, let's get these guys back. Well, you know what? We'll just make sure that we've got everybody that we need back. I'm going to um, make sure everybody's repaired, I think, though. We've got plenty of time before the end of the month. 15 days. And if something bad happens, we've got, like, what, five mechs in storage we could sell if we had to. So I'll make sure everybody's fixed up. Then next episode, we're going to take a Five Skull Jade Falcon versus Clan Wolf mis uh, mission. Um, because we've got enough rep with both of these guys now. So um, we're going to take uh, Lost Contact. So let's, if we, when we negotiate this, we're going to go full salvage. But, you know, uh, reputation for Falcon will go up. Wolf will go down. But this is exactly what I want. I want to be able to get them up to the top so we can bounce back and forth in missions between these two um, and stay at honored reputation so we get five skull missions from both of them. That's the goal. And then we'll be able to take really hard missions when, we, when we're uh, ready to do so. So I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Next episode is going to be, uh, I think, probably pretty brutal. Um, but we'll see how it goes. All right. So if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.